Hey guys, I'm going to be going back to the Shin Ryu trial and knocking out those two missions that I skipped the first time, which are finish it within uh, 25 turns, and I need to evoke Ramu and Shiva. So the team this time is going to be Warrior Flight. He's going to be passive provoke and 100% evasion, because he can do both at once, which is really helpful. Fina is going to be the healer and, you know, mana regen, buff seek, etc. She's got 100% water resist to survive the ambush. Um, Charlotte's going to be the magical cover tank. She's also got some limit fill gear, and she'll be geared to cover the magic attacks. As you see, she's got immunity across the board, even with the imperils. Uh, Elfum is going to be the breaker buffer, and that's pretty much it. You know, breaker and buffer. And she's got immunity to water as well for the ambush. Dark Fina is going to be the DPS. She's got... Um, she doesn't need any resist. You just need a little bit of earth resist for the whole team, by the way. The whole team wants at least 50%. Uh, Fina's a little short, but she'll be fine because she's got good stats. But, um, that'll give us immunity to the, uh, the AoE physical that we're not covering. And then Odoril's, um, Dark Fina, same thing. He's got some, uh, earth resist, some magic, some dragon killer, etc. Alright, so let's get into it. So there's going to be the Ambush, which is a super-powered flood attack. It'll pretty much wipe out anyone not just completely immune to water. I tried it with Fina having 90% water resist. Still wasn't enough. She still got destroyed. But that's okay, because Warrior Light's passive provoking, so he can die on turn 1 and it doesn't really matter. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and res the dead, and then resist buff them. Elephant's going to break. And Charlotte will magical cover. So this turn one should be an AoE hybrid attack, which is going to really hurt. It is going to hurt quite a bit. We don't have any mitigation up, but that's okay. Because we've got, we've got uh, Elephant's buffs. And that AoE that hit us can't be covered. It's fixed to fix that. Alright, so this next turn is going to be all damage that can be completely avoided. So we're going to kind of not worry about it. Uh, let's see. So we're going to stack. We're not going to bother with imperiling yet. Because I don't want to push the boss to a threshold until the proper turn of the rotation. So we're going to we're going to DPS and all, but we're not going to we're not going to imperil or un unlock the quad cast. And before I do that, actually, let me do a limit fill buff. And Fina will do it. Well, let's do this do that first. Let's see what kind of damage this feels. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, her, their, their stacks are still building, so, you know, low damage. Uh, let's Shining Shear twice with Fina to fill the limit gauge. And let's have Warrior Blight just do a... Uh, that was the wrong skill. Let's do that, that skill. So this turn should be zero damage entirely. It'll be all immune. Yeah, that that claw attack does ridiculous amounts of damage. And I was having problems getting Warrior Light to survive. And then I realized, oh, it's it's an evadable attack. That solved that problem. All right, so we're still stacking up our um, our attacks. Yeah, we'll be doing more damage starting next turn. Alright, so Elephant will break. Warrior Blight. Uh, this is going to be a gravity attack that we can't really do anything about. So I'm just going to Mana Regen and Shining here. And I'm not even sure what these two did last turn, but they'll do it again. Alright, so this is going to be a Dispel on someone as well. And then we turn to Stone. Alright, so it was on Dark Fina, so that's fine. Alright, so we're going to cure that with Warrior Blight. Alright. Um, let's see. Uh, Charlotte is going to Limit Burst. Fina is going to... Let's see, Resist Buff, and... Uh, let's Shine Inch here. I don't really need much much healing this turn, because next turn is going to be stuff we all, like, 
just immune, basically. So let's do this. And we're going to keep stacking, and next turn we're going to go for the, the big damage. Now let's go ahead and do the good in peril and some dark damage. Uh, what breaks do we need? We need to refresh the defense breaks. Let's do that. And let's power up. So this is turn 5 of the rotation. It's going to be a strong AoE magical attack this turn. It's fixed though, so you can't you can't avoid it. Oh. I wish I didn't do that. Whoops. Dark fan, I pushed him too hard. Uh yeah, so we pushed the boss to a threshold when I wasn't quite ready for that. That's real unfortunate actually. Go ahead and AoE re-raise. And cover. Jeez, why did I do that? Um, so he's gonna death someone at the end of the round, which I'm not ready for. That was the fixed attack. That was that was intended to happen. All right. So at the end of the round, someone he's gonna he's gonna roulette. If it lands on himself, we're in big trouble. The best person would be Warrior of Light. Oh, that's a terrible, terrible choice. Oh, that's a terrible choice there to death. That's our cover tank. Yeah, we did this in the wrong turn. How am I going to fix this? Alright, so we're not going to DPS this turn. We're going to... We're going to item on Fana to cure her. We're going to Phoenix down on Charlotte to cure to get her up. Uh, Warrior of Light is going to use that. Actually, won't matter. Oh, it will. We're going to do this for the lightning resist. This boss is so squishy when you actually use real damage. It's annoying. Alright, Fina, you're going to do the other resist buffs and a prime heal. And we're going to just pray that we survive here. Um, we're probably not going to, actually. Well, maybe, maybe. That fire attack I'm worried about on Warrior Blight. Oh, okay, he, he resists, and then the ice attack's gonna come, but we're not covering. But we got Phoenix resist buff, so it might be okay. Oh, hey, we're fine. Warrior of Light tanks it all. Okay, that's good. Um, that's actually great, because this is the turn that I want to push the boss for a threshold. Okay. So we got kind of lucky there with the roulettes and all, like, you know, if you, when you're doing this yourself, you definitely want to do it more controlled and pushing the proper turns. But that just happened to work out okay. So we're going to magical cover here. Warrior of Light will do this. Uh, let's go ahead and push. We want to push that 70% threshold, but we don't want to push him below 55. So below 70, not below, not below 55. Got it. All right. Actually, wonderful, wonderful. All right, Fina, you're going to... Um, we did a resist buff already, didn't we? I don't know if we did, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then I got your Shining Cheer. No, we don't need Shining Cheer. We need Mana Regen. Okay. So this is going to be the, the turn we take zero damage. Because it's... Uh, oh, Fina might take a little, a little small hit. She, 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 she's shorter in first resist. 
But as you see, she's fine. She's only very, very tiny amount short with the buff. At the end of the turn, he's going to roulette someone. Warrior of Light, that is wonderful. Warrior of Light is totally irrelevant. We can just raise him and he's still doing his duty. Alright. Um, so this is turn three coming in. I'm going to go ahead and push another threshold. This is going to be that gravity attack turn. Cause I, I, I really want to get those thresholds out of the way. Let's go ahead and raise. And actually healing doesn't literally does not even matter right now. So we'll just raise, because we're going to get a gravity attack. Let's summon one of the experts who need it for the mission, so that's Shiva summon. Alright. Um, so we need to push the next threshold from 55 to 40. You know, I don't want to push him too far, so I'm only going to times 3 cast instead of times 4. I think times 4 might double push threshold. Oh, it's times four, actually. That's times three. Uh, actually, I'm going to do times four with this one. One, two, three. And then she's going to do a resist buff as her last action instead. Let's go ahead and push this. Alright, so this is kind of risky, because if, if the roulette lands on himself, it's going to be a problem. If he pushes... push, That's actually perfect. If he pushes threshold on the proper turn, then roulette on himself doesn't even matter. But if you push it on... Um, like, I'm doing kind of like, you know, YOLO or whatever. And then if the roulette lands on himself, we're going to be in trouble. Alright, so Fina got stoned. We don't really care about that. Now, somebody's going to get death here. Now, if we're lucky, it'll, it'll death um, himself. Of course. I swear this is rigged. This has to be rigged. It always lands on himself when I push it on the wrong turn. There's no way that can be just total chance. <sighs> really? Okay. What are we going to do here? So he's going to do a stupidly overpowered attack on this turn coming up. Um, I'll just leave Dark Fina petrified for now. Who cares? I'm not bothering curing her. Because we're not, we're not in DPS in this turn anyway. Alright. Yeah. He, he related himself. So that gave him a three-turn buff that we can't remove of his attack and magic up. It gave him... It unlocked a attack we can't cover this turn coming in. So... Do that. Let's give a barrier. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Uh, let's have Charlotte use her limit. Uh, we'll have this Fina do a resist buff. And, um, I guess Lotus Fina will do a resist buff and a re-raise. Cross your fingers. Here it comes. The attack we couldn't avoid. Alright, actually that, that, that wasn't nearly as bad as I expected. That wasn't nearly as bad as I expected. I mean, it was hurt, it was painful, but we survived it, no problem. Okay, that's good. Alright, um, so let's go ahead and Prime Heal for that other Fina. And Shining Shear. Yeah, she didn't get, she didn't actually get healed, did she? Uh, Charlotte's gonna elixir that Fina to get her healing up. Warrior of Light's gonna protect it by the light on that Fina because I don't think she has any mitigation buff this turn. And we still got a big attack coming in this round, and the boss is still buffed with his magic and attack, so it's gonna still really hurt. Let's do that, and let's go ahead and try cast Dark. So this is still going to be a painful turn. We're still, we still, we're still off track here from pushing the threshold on the wrong round. All right, the next threshold is at forty percent. 
So I want to get that one pushed in two more turns. Okay, so we're actually pretty good here. Oh, so painful, so painful. But that that, that was the only attack that we can't avoid. And but the, ne the next attack, next round, is okay. Alright, so there's the Petrify. Um, unfortunately, we have to use Warrior Flight to cure that Petrify. The Petrify is so not random. Like, the AI said it's random, it's BS. Yeah, it's not random. It always takes the wrong person. I'm, I'm telling you. Alright. Uh, let's do this. Um, this turn is gonna be... Yeah, nothing, nothing too critical. We're gonna heal. How's our health looking? Uh, I'm gonna re-raise that Fina friend. Cause she doesn't have the mitigation right now. And Warrior Blight had a cure of Petrify, so still not up. Uh, so I'm gonna dual cast only. I don't wanna push the forty into the turn after this one. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna dark, dark, and Resist buff. Alright. Yeah. I want to get close to 40, but not below. Perfect. We're good. Alright, so this is one more attack that we can't avoid. Oh, that's not my problem. Oh, it's two of them. I forgot he does, he does more when he gets weak. And he's still attack buff. But it's okay. We live. So now, now his attack buff has worn off. Which is okay. All right, so this next round is one of those rounds that we're not taking any damage at all. So we'll just refresh that. Uh, and now we want to push the boss as hard as possible. So we're going to times... Actually, I think the boss is in peril has worn off at this point. It has. Uh, let's go ahead and break the boss. Yeah. All right. Um... In peril and chain. I'm not worried about chaining too hard right now. Okay, we barely pushed it, but we did push it. The threshold. Alright, so let's resist and. We don't really need Shining here, so let's do a Prime Heal instead. Warrior of Light will physical mitigate. Okay. So there we go. So that's going to be a, um, a roulette at the end of the round. Please don't land on yourself. Anyone but yourself. And we're okay. If it does land on himself, we'll still be technically okay. Warrior of Light, that's the best person to pick. Thank you. Alright. Um, so I really want Fina to summon the Esper this round. Yes, yeah, so we'll just we'll just item again. Get Warrior of Light back up. Because this round is the gravity attack. Let's summon Ramos. We've summoned both the Espers required. Actually, let's do this one. Alright, the next threshold is at 20%. So we're kind of good to push for a long time here. So we're going to use our cooldown and start pushing for a real. Alright, there's going to be the gravity attack and the petrify and all that. Oh geez, don't push him don't push him below forty yet or below twenty. Yes, the gravity, you know, don't panic. On Charlotte, that's a good that's a good target. Oh, Charlotte and Warrior Flight, of course. That's actually not good. Um No, it's fine, it's fine. So it's prime heal and resist buff. So prime heal to cure them. And then a resist buff. Uh, Charlotte will limit. We'll have Warrior of Light. 
do a heal. So this this turn can be pretty pretty tame, actually. Let's do this. Um, I'm just gonna. All right, I'm at times three. We're only gonna chain twice and then a resist buff. And this being able to chain twice, I don't want to push that last threshold until we're a little bit closer to the turn I want. That's good. That's good. All right. So this turn is going to be close to zero damage. The only damage that's going to hit is Fina with a little bit of Earth damage. Oh, actually, Fina is now immune to Earth as well. With Dark Fina, it's even more powerful Earth buff. All right. Uh, so this next turn is going to be one of those stupidly powerful attacks that we can't cover. So let's go ahead and use Warrior Vice Limit to. Um, really help. Uh, Charlotte will do that. Uh, we actually don't want to do anything with the Phoenix because we don't want them to, um, we don't want to push that threshold. So the Phoenix will just, I guess they'll each just resist buff. This is mostly just so they don't, don't lose their stacks. Because I don't want to guard them. Um, Lumo need healing? Not really. So Lotus Fina will... I guess just refresh the resist buff? Oh no, she would double Shining Cheer to get Charlotte's Limit ready. Cause we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a double Petrify on this coming up turn. Alright, this is gonna be an attack that we can't avoid. Painful. I think he does it twice this round, maybe? Or is it, no, the, the one next turn is twice. Okay. So one more round we don't want to push. So Fina got petrified, that's fine. We cure it with Warrior Flight. I'm going to go ahead and cover it with Charlotte to make sure it's still active. Mm, let's do that buff. Uh, let's have Fina just in peril. Other Fina will just resist buff again. And Lotus Fina will... Uh, resist and... I'm not, sure what I, I'm not sure what I cast. That was an accident. Uh, let's do that. And let's do a Manor again, because why not? All right, this is going to be the last real painful turn. Could be two strong AOEs. Shouldn't kill anyone. Oh, Fina, you are living on the edge. All right, now we're going to push that last threshold, and then then we're going all in. Push him as far as we possibly can at this point. Come on, Charlotte. Or Elephant for casting buffs. Alright, let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's go as far as we can. One, two, three, four. And this this turn coming up is a zero damage turn, by the way. No one's gonna get hurt. Excellent. Okay. Um, Elephant, I'm not sure what buff you cast last time, so you just do this. Warrior Blade, you'll refresh Physical Mitigate. Athena, you'll just heal. Not much else going on here. Charlotte, you'll just, you know, Magical Cover, you leave already Magical Cover twice. <laughs> okay. And the threshold attack, which is going to be um, him doing the find the last roulette of the battle. Here we go. Please land on Warrior Blade. Warrior Blade is the best target for this. 
Okay. Rude. That's okay. Yeah, see, if you push it, if you push it on the second turn of his five round rotation, it doesn't matter if we were less, because the, the turn, the follow up turn, is always a free turn. This turn, he's not going to attack us at all. Literally, all he's going to do is petrify someone and do gravity attack. So that's why it's totally okay. Like, whoever he had petrified, it wouldn't have mattered or killed. And even if he had done it on himself, it wouldn't have mattered. Alright, let's go ahead and chain. Alright, we're probably going to win next turn. Gravity, um, Charles doesn't really matter what you do. Because this, this, this turn, nothing happens. Double Petrify. Alright, Petrified on Warrior of Light and Dark Fina. That's fine. Alright, so regular Fina will of them and resist buff. Now, if, if they had like, for example, for example, Petrify, like Warrior Light and Fiona, our two cure units, we could just you know use the Gold Needle and, and remove the Petrify. So that's really that's really not a big deal. So that, that's why I'm saying it, on that turn, it literally does not matter who we really Petrifies because we're totally fine regardless. And let's win a verse with Charlotte. And is our cooldown ready? It is. So let's go ahead and times three. We'll cool down dark, dark. Cool down dark, dark. Alright. This might kill him here. Might not. If it does, great. If not, we'll kill him the next turn. If this turn coming up, this is another zero damage turn. Oh, we got him anyway. Oh, I forgot! He does, uh, Giga Flare when he wipes, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't kill anyone. We're good. We're good. Yeah, you need at least one person to survive that, but it's, it's a fire attack. So with fire resist, which we had plenty of fire resist, it's no big deal at all. I just got it. That just totally slipped my mind. I forgot about it. All right. My last two missions on Shinrayu, which is quite nice. Uh, that Materia gives anyone a double cast flood ability which they can chain so that, that, that turns anyone into a chainer and then the uh holy materia is holy resist and limit burst damage it's kind of like the ashura materia pretty nice all right see you guys next time